Okay, good morning everyone. Am I audible? Good morning. Am I audible to everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, 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 fine. So far, uh, we have discussed totally five types of problems, sorry, four types of problems. Until today, we have discussed totally uh, four types of problems in module four. Okay, so first type, problems on the simple interest. Second type, problems on the compound interest. And third one, problems on the single payment and uniform series. Okay, and in the last class, we have discussed uh, type four problems, that is problems on the uniform gradient series, okay? Until today, totally we have discussed four types of problems. First one, simple interest. Second one, compound interest. Third one, problems on the single payment and uniform series. And fourth one is problems on the uniform gradient series, okay? So in today's class, we are discussing type five problems, okay, type number five, okay, it means problems on the method of comparison, okay, this is the last type of problem under module four, okay, so problems on the method of comparison, okay, in engineering mechanics, totally there are three methods, okay, in engineering mechanics and finance, totally there are three methods to compare the um, amount of investment and amount of benefit, okay? In engineering mechanics, we have totally three methods to compare the amount of investment and amount of benefit, okay? What are those methods, okay? The first one is present work method and second one annual equivalent method and third one is rate of return method, that is ROR method, okay? So in engineering mechanics, totally we have three methods to compare the amount of investment and amount of benefit, okay? Almost these all problems, okay? All five or six types of problems on the amount of investment and amount of benefit, okay? So this type of problem is on methods, methods of comparison, okay? It means in engineering mechanics, we have totally three methods to compare the amount of investment and amount of benefit, okay? Uh, those methods are, the first one is present worth method, second one is annual equivalent method, and third one is ROR method. It means rate of return method. And for your syllabus includes only two methods, okay? Your syllabus includes only two methods, okay? Among three, the first one, present worth method and annual equivalent method, okay? These two are there for your syllabus, okay? This ROR method is not there for your syllabus, okay? Totally, your syllabus includes only two. One is present worth method and second one is annual equivalent method, okay? Am I audible? Am I audible to everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. And what is this uh, present worth? Okay, take a first method. Okay, first, uh, uh, we can discuss the uh, first method that is present worth method. Okay, what is this present worth and future worth? Okay, any idea about this present worth and present future worth? Present worth and future worth. Already we have discussed four types of problems. Okay, this type of problem is interlink with all four types of problems. Okay, here the present worth means converting the future amount of money to the present condition. Keep it in mind, this is very important. See, future worth means converting future amount of money to the present condition. That is the present worth. Okay, present worth method. In this method, just you have to convert future amount of money to the present condition, okay? Here, the future amount of money may be in the form of single payment or annual equivalent payment, okay? Annual equivalent payment means deposition or investment, constant investment or constant deposition of money for some period. That is the annual equivalent amount, okay? Here, the future amount may be in the form of single payment or annual equivalent payment, okay? 
so present work means in present work method just you have to convert future amount of money to the present condition okay for the initial condition future amount of money to the initial condition future amount of money to the today's condition okay that is the present work here okay in future work okay converting the present amount of money to the future condition okay that is the future work okay converting the present amount okay present amount today's amount to the future condition that is the future work keep it in mind okay difference between present work and future work in present work just you, you should have to convert future amount of money to the present condition okay future amount of money to the today's condition okay convert the future amount of money to today okay that is the present work okay future to present that is the present work in future work present to future it means convert the present amount of money to the future condition that is the future work here okay so this is very important to solve the this concept is very important to solve the problems on present work method in present work method method just you have to convert future amount of money okay future amount of money to the present condition okay present condition means today's condition okay so this is about a uh, simple concept on the present work method okay just convert the future amount of money to the present condition okay and after solving the uh, two or three problems on present work method you will realize about this uh, present work method okay automatically you will uh understand the present work method after solving two or three problems okay uh, then only you will get the meaning of this present work method but the simple technique is uh, a simple technique included in present work is that uh, converting the future amount of money to the present condition converting the future money to the uh, today's condition okay so after solving some two or three problems you will get idea clear idea about this present work method okay so Uh, is it visible to everyone is this slide this slide is it visible no. clearly visible? Yes, visible okay okay then take a first problem okay take a first problem on the uh, present work method okay now we are taking the first method okay among three okay among three only two are there for your syllabus one is present work method and second one is annual equivalent method Uh, for uh, here i am taking the first method that is present work method okay in on this method i am going to solve uh, three or four problems okay so take a first problem on the present work method okay all of you please look at the slide all of you please look at this slide okay see uh, take a first problem on the present work method that is uh, here the details of the feasibility report of a project is shown below check the feasibility of the project using present work method okay the details of the feasibility report of a project is shown below check the feasibility of the project using present work method okay in the problem he has mentioned okay method name okay he has mentioned present work method okay solve this problem by using the method present work okay i am repeating one more time the details of the feasibility report of a project is shown below check the feasibility of the project by using the present work method okay so he has given okay some data uh, first he has given i value as 20% i means rate of interest he has given this as 20% and second initial outlay okay initial outlay is equal to rupees 50 lakhs okay rupees 50 lakhs this rupees 50 lakhs is the initial outlet okay initial investment outlay it means outlet it means investment initial out, uh, out outlet or initial investment that is equal to 50 50 lakhs here okay and second one is life of the project okay 20 years total life of the project is 20 years and uh, annual equivalent revenue is equal to 15 lakhs okay he has given annual equivalent revenue okay 
keep it in mind this revenue is always positive okay revenue means incoming money keep it in mind this revenue is the incoming money for the person okay so annual equivalent revenue means what it indicates annual equivalent revenue what this annual equivalent indicates annual equivalent amount it means amount of outlet or amount of income every year that is the annual equivalent amount okay so here he has given annual equivalent revenue as 15 lakhs okay and one more very important thing so this revenue always incoming money or income for the person it's it is not a investment okay it should be positive the line should be above the horizontal axis for revenue okay revenue is the positive value it means uh, it is the incoming money for the person okay annual equivalent revenue he has given uh, as 15 lakhs okay and one more thing he has given modernizing cost at the end of the 10th year okay modernizing cost at the end of the 10th year it means in this modernizing cost is the investment here okay modernizing cost at the end of the 10th year is equal to 20 lakhs okay it means it modernizing cost may be in the form of maintenance or uh, repairing cost okay modernizing cost of the project modernizing cost at the end of the 10th year is equal to rupees 20 lakhs and one more uh, data he has given that is salvage value at the end of the project okay salvage value at the end of the project that is equals to 5 lakhs what is this salvage value salvage value any idea about this salvage value dictionary meaning of salvage value from anybody anybody salvage value what this salvage value indicates incoming money or outgoing money this salvage value hmm salvage value incoming money or outgoing money okay fine see this salvage value is the resale value okay salvage value is nothing but resale value okay this is always positive it means this is the incoming money for the person okay salvage value is nothing but resale value this is the incoming money for the person okay so these are the some datas attached to the given problem okay first he has given i as 20% and second one initial outlet it means initial investment as 50 lakhs and also he has given annual equivalent revenue is equal to 15 lakhs okay so keep it in mind this revenue is always positive okay it means this revenue is the incoming money for the person okay modernizing cost at the end of the 10th year is equals to 20 lakhs okay here the modernizing cost may be in the form of maintenance cost or uh, repairing cost okay this is always investment okay modernizing cost is the investment here okay this is takes place at the uh, going to takes place at the end of the 10th year that is equal to 20 lakhs okay and one more thing he has given salvage value at the end of the project as 5 lakhs okay here the salvage value is always positive the salvage value is nothing but resale value okay and this uh, uh, salvage value or resale value is the incoming money for the person okay uh, then in this problem we have to uh, check the feasibility of the project by using the present work method and before solving the problem first we uh, we draw the cfd for the given problem okay given question first we should draw the cfd for this okay use all these data and draw the cfd for this then solve the problem using suitable formula yes just look at the uh, cfd all of you please look at the cfd this is the cfd for the this question okay this problem just look at the uh, just observe all the datas 
attach to the problem and draw the CFD. Okay, after drawing the CFD, so see, this is the CFD for the given question. Okay, so first, what he has given initial out outlet. So this is fifty lakhs. Okay, he has given initial outlet as fifty lakhs. This is investment incoming money or outgoing money. Outgoing, sir. Outgoing money. Okay, it means initial investment should come at the zero year. Okay, so this in this graph. Okay, in this CFD, this horizontal axis is made with total twenty years because the total oh. life of the project is twenty years. <clears throat> total life of the project is twenty years. Here, that's why I have divided this uh, horizontal axis into twenty numbers. Okay. Twenty numbers, okay. And in the given data, he has given initial outlet as fifty fifty lakhs, okay. This is the investment, okay. So you know, initial investment. It means investment takes place at the zero year, okay. So here I have shown this fifty lakhs below the horizontal axis, okay, because this fifty lakhs is the investment from the person, okay. That's why I am showing this vertical line below the horizontal axis, okay? And I am showing this vertical line at the zeroth year only because this fifty lakhs is the initial investment, okay? Investment takes place at the zeroth year in the initial condition only. The in investment is going to take place, okay? So that's why I am showing this vertical line at the zero year because this is the initial investment from the person. Okay, and also I am showing this vertical line below the horizontal axis because this is the investment. This is the outgoing money, not incoming money. Okay, and the next data is uh, life of the project is twenty years. Okay, already I have divided this horizontal axis into twenty numbers. And one more thing he has given. Annual equivalent revenue. Okay, keep it in mind. Revenue always positive. Revenue always be a incoming money for the person. Okay, annual equivalent revenue is fifteen lakhs. Okay, so every year the person is getting fifteen lakhs from the project. Okay, every year the person is getting fifteen lakhs for the from the project uh, throughout the. Twenty years. Okay, so have you show this value? See, so revenue always positive. Okay, first year, second year, third year, continuation until twenty years. He is getting fifteen lakhs annual equivalent revenue. Okay, I am calling this annual equivalent revenue as A. Okay, A means. Amount of deposition or amount of incoming money every year. Okay, every year uh, throughout some period. Okay, that is here. I am showing this fifteen lakhs as the y. Okay, y is equals to fifteen lakhs. Okay, a person is getting fifteen lakhs every year. Okay, through uh, until twenty years. Okay, and. Uh, One more thing he has given: modernizing cost at the end of the tenth year. Okay, modernizing cost or repairing cost at the end of the tenth year that is twenty lakhs. Okay, uh, is it incoming money or outgoing money? This twenty lakhs modernizing cost at the end of the tenth year. Incoming money or outgoing money? Outgoing, hmm. sir. Outgoing money and this invest. It means this is the investment. This twenty lakhs is the investment. This investment takes place at the end of the tenth year. Okay, the total life of the project is twenty years. But this repairing cost, this investment, uh, takes place at the end of the tenth year only. Hence, you have to show this vertical line at the tenth year only. Okay. The total horizontal axis is made with twenty years because the life of the project is twenty years. But this investment, that is twenty lakhs of investment, okay, that is modernizing cost, takes place at the end of the tenth year. Hence, I am showing this investment exactly at the tenth year below the horizontal axis, okay, below the horizontal axis because this is the investment, okay. And uh, one more data he has given. What is that? 
salvage value at the end of the project is equals to 5 lakh salvage value is positive or negative it means investment or uh, incoming money incoming money or outgoing money this 5 lakhs 5 lakhs salvage value at the end of the project in incoming money or outgoing money for the person this salvage value salvage value is nothing but resale value incoming money or outgoing money incoming sir incoming money okay this salvage value so the resale the person is getting 5 lakhs rupees at the end of the project it means at the end of the 20th year okay the total life of the project is 20 20 years a person is getting salvage value at the end of the project okay it means a person is getting 5 lakhs rupees at the end of the 20th year okay and i am showing this vertical line above the horizontal axis okay because the salvage value is the uh, uh, incoming money for the person that's why here i am showing this 5 lakhs rupees uh, 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 vertical line above the horizontal axis okay this is about uh, cfd for the given question okay any doubts on this only on cfd CFD. Any doubts on the drawing CFD for this question? From anybody? Any doubts? okay fine then coming to the solution okay what is the concept in present work method you have to convert all the future amount of money to the present condition okay then in cfd just all of you observe the cfd and what are identify the future values okay what are the future values here okay all of you observe the cfd cash flow diagram and identify what what are the future values future values anybody tell the future values in the cfd future values okay see what is the concept in the present work method you have to convert all the future amount of money to the present condition okay uh, it means you have to convert all the future values to the zeroth condition okay you have to convert all the future values to the zeroth year okay that is the main concept here okay so first uh, uh, first we, here we have to identify uh, future values okay one is 20 lakhs rupees all of you look at this slide this 20 lakhs rupees is the future value and also this a is equal to 15 lakhs is all 15 lakhs is the future value and uh, this 5 lakhs rupees at the end of the 20 year is also a future value for this cfd okay so you have to convert all these three values to the present condition okay here the pre present condition is zero year you have to convert all these future values to the present condition by using suitable formulas okay so first uh, all of you look at this slide okay uh, i am here we have to solve uh, present worth value at the zero year hence i am indicating that as pw not okay okay pw not it means present worth okay this p indicates present and w indicates worth and this zero indicates present condition initial condition or zero year okay so this i am indicating this present worth value as present pw not here it indicates present value for the 0th year okay 
so here you have to form the equation okay before solving the problem uh, first we should consider uh, some sign conventions okay here you have to consider the sign conventions okay uh, consider positive value for the incoming money and the negative value for the outgoing money okay it means investments are the negative and uh, benefits are the positive okay so in forming the equations we should consider the sign conventions okay so positive for the benefit amount okay it means uh, a positive consider the positive uh, sign for the incoming money and consider the negative sign for the investment okay so now form the equation okay here the we are following very simple concept that is uh, converting the future amount of money to the present condition okay the first amount is 50000 rupees okay already this is this 50 sorry this 50 lakhs rupees at the present condition only it means this 50 lakhs rupees is at the zeroth year only okay keep it as same don't convert this 50 lakhs rupees to any value already this 50 lakhs rupees at the zeroth condition only okay consider only sign convention for this okay this 50 lakhs rupees is positive or negative this 50 lakhs rupees positive or negative investments are always negative benefits are always positive okay so this 50 lakhs rupees is at the zeroth condition only okay keep this value as same only consider the sign convention okay this 50 lakhs rupees is the investment so the sign convention is negative for this okay hence i am showing here i am writing this 50 lakhs rupees as minus 50 lakhs okay minus 50 lakhs because this is the investment okay and next is 20 20 lakhs rupees this 20 lakhs rupees is the future value okay future amount for the zeroth condition okay so this 20 lakhs is the future value for the zeroth condition hence we have to convert this 20 lakhs to the zeroth condition first consider the sign convention for this 20 lakhs okay this 20 lakhs is the single payment takes place at the end of the 10th year the sign for this is negative okay because this is investment okay hence i am taking sign as negative for this 20 lakhs okay so minus 20 lakhs okay we have to convert this uh, value 20 lakhs values to the present condition okay how you convert this 20 lakhs rupees is uh, annual equivalent amount or uniform amount or single payment single payment which one 20 lakhs rupees all of you observe the cfd this 20 lakhs rupees is single payment or annual equivalent payment single payment or annual equivalent payment anybody hmm this 20 lakhs rupees single payment it means this 20 lakhs rupees is taking place at only in one year okay so this 20 lakhs rupees is the single payment okay single payment means uh, that that is indicated by letter p okay p p is equal to here p is equals to 20 lakhs rupees okay then which formula is applicable for this you have to convert this p to the sorry uh, f this 20 lakhs rupees is the future amount for the present condition it means this 20 lakhs rupees is the f value okay f value for the present condition so you have to convert this f value to the p okay have you convert use the formula which formula is applicable here i have written one formula okay p is equal to f into bracket 1 divided by 1 plus i whole rest to n okay 
P is equal to F into bracket one divided by one plus I whole risk V. And this formula is applicable. Okay, this twenty lakhs rupees is the future amount of money compared to zero year. Okay, it means this twenty lakhs is the value of F. Okay, you have to convert this future amount of money to the present condition. It means you have to convert this F to the P. Okay, so which formula is applicable? This first formula. Here I have written two formulas. Okay, consider the first formula. P is equal to F into bracket one divided by one plus I whole raised to n. Okay, apply this formula in the equation. Okay, what is F here? Twenty lakhs. Okay, into bracket one divided by one plus I whole raised to n. What is the value of I here? I given in the question that is twenty percent. Okay, and n also given. So this twenty lakhs rupees investment takes place at the end of the tenth year. Okay, so n is equal to ten only. Okay, substitute n as ten and i as twenty percent. Okay, and next value in the equation is five lakhs rupees. Okay, all of you observe the CFD and this five lakhs rupees is the future value. Okay, compared to the zero year. Okay, it means this five lakhs rupees is coming after the zero year. Hence, I am considering this single payment as future amount of money. It means considering this as F value. Okay, here also you have to convert this five lakhs rupees to the present condition. Okay, it means you have to convert this five lakhs rupees to the zero condition. How you convert? Just by formula. First one, same formula. P is equals to F into bracket one divided by one plus I whole raised to n. Okay, uh, what is the and uh, you have to consider the sign convention for this five lakhs rupees, positive or negative? This five lakhs rupees, positive or negative? The sign is positive because this five lakhs rupees is is the incoming money for the person. Hence, I am considering the sign convention as positive. Okay, positive, and the equation is use this equation. P is equal to F into bracket. One divided by one plus I whole raised to n. Just substitute all the values of this uh, for this formula. Okay, so here the F is five lakhs rupees into bracket one divided by one plus I whole raised to n. Okay, for this five lakhs rupees, I is twenty percent and n is equal to twenty twenty. Okay, because this five lakhs, it, uh, the person is getting five lakhs rupees at the end of the twenty years. Okay, hence. Consider the uh, or substitute the n value as twenty. Okay, so two values got over. One is twenty lakhs and another one is five lakhs. Okay, got converted and only one value is remaining. That is fifteen lakhs. This fifteen lakhs. This fifteen lakhs is the annual equivalent amount. Okay, so uh, amount of money the person is getting fifteen lakhs every year for a. Uh, Throughout the project, okay, it means throughout the twenty years, the person is getting fifteen lakhs rupees. Okay, so I am calling this value as A. It means annual equivalent. Okay, here we have to convert this A value to the zeroth condition. Okay, A value to the P condition. Okay, here the zeroth condition is nothing but we have to find the value of P. Okay, how we convert this A to the P? We have one formula that is here. I have written one formula. P is equal to a into bracket one plus i whole raised to n minus of one divided by i into bracket one plus i whole raised to n. Okay, we have to convert this a value to the p. Okay, this formula is applicable. P is equals to a into bracket one plus i whole raised to n minus of one divided by I into bracket one plus I whole raised to n. Okay, apply this formula for this value. Okay, for fifteen lakhs, convert the fifteen lakhs value to present condition by using this second formula. Okay, apply this formula in the equation. Okay, so fifteen lakhs rupees here. The A is fifteen lakhs rupees, and this. Uh, Fifteen lakhs rupees. The annual equivalent amount takes place with an interest rate of twenty percent, and n is twenty because this annual equivalent amount is takes place throughout twenty years, throughout the life of the project. Hence, I am taking n as twenty here. Okay, 
and sign convention for this 15 lakhs is positive because this is the uh, incoming money for the person and so i am considering the value as positive okay now substitute all the values in the formulas and find the final answer find the present worth value okay after uh, solution we are getting okay after substitution we are getting present value as 19 lakhs 94400 rupees okay 19 lakhs 94400 rupees is the present worth value for this project okay so present this 19 lakhs 94400 rupees is the present value for this project